What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. All right, y'all, so we're going to get into this reading, see what it is that you need to know. If anything resonates, you know what to do. And if you're interested in a personal, my love readings on sale for 35, okay? All right, so let's get into it. So, Scorpio, you can be a painter, okay? Maybe it's a, a certain style that you use or a certain form, but this could be something that's very, what's the word? I'm sure, common for you, okay? Maybe you do this like a, a hobby, you know, or something that you do maybe to like kind of soothe or calm your energy. But I feel like you're someone who creates beautiful paintings here, okay? Yeah, this shit all over the place, okay? Some of y'all could be in a game or you can be dealing with someone who is in a gang, okay? This is someone who does something like, they can do something of the underworld, you know, people that they don't really know about this, okay? There can be violence, criminal, criminal activity involved. There could have been some type of transaction or something that was made. So you can be maybe like in some type of gang or organization or something of that nature, but it's like the underworld. You know, a lot of people ain't unaware or don't have the privileges. You, know, you ain't privy, you know, to know more about this organization or something of that nature. Then we got this player, okay? So y'all can be dealing with this player, play it, take it how you want to, okay? This is a social light of charm. So whoever this man or woman is, they're very charming. This is a man, so I'm going to take it as a masculine energy, though, okay? But this person's very elegant, you know what I'm saying? This could be someone who maybe, you know, dresses up or has, like, their business casual outfit on. But they're an expert at romance. They can, you know, have some charming ways, know how to charm your socks off, charm your drawers off here. And they live a life where I feel like they have a lot of fun. They, they get to talk and be around a lot of beautiful women and, you know, things of that nature. Like, live some type of lifestyle out here, okay? So some of y'all could be dealing with this player. And then we got this friend. This is someone who's your keeper of trust, a companion. For some of y'all, this could be a soulmate. You know, a soulmate doesn't have to be romantic. Hell, a dog can be your soulmate, okay? A friend. So some of y'all, maybe you've met a friend. Maybe you recently got a dog or you have a dog. But this is someone who you trust. You know, so you don't mind telling your business to this person because you know it ain't going to go past them four walls, okay? This can be a companion, someone to support you, and also share some type of joy, okay? So we're going to go through and we're going to clarify these. I was gifted a little goodie box from one of our, one of our family members. Re, uh, shit, I can't talk y'all. Dev Romero. So thank you again, Dev. And she also gifted us some beautiful cards here. So I'm going to use my new tarot deck. I hadn't even really looked at it. I kind of looked at it, but didn't look at it. So we're going to use our new deck here to clarify these messages. So we're going to start off with this gang member, okay? Somebody over here, gang, gang. So let's see what's going on with this person that could be a member or a part of the gang here. And this could be, it's a male here, but I mean, this could be a female. Don't have to be. Hold on, y'all. I got to figure out how to shuffle these. These super new. I ain't had no new news in a minute. Okay, so tell us about this gang member. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about this gang member, Scorpio, what they need to know. Okay, I had to stop for a second. I didn't want y'all to have to sit here and watch me shuffle for a minute. Okay, so tell us about this game in member. Messages for Scorpio. Damn, okay. Two of Swords. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. This is someone that's being stuck, having to make some type of difficult decision before they can proceed. Okay, so this could be someone that's maybe having to take like some type of plea deal. I don't know why I'm hearing this legal system type shit. Okay, hey, maybe, like I said, this could be someone who is in jail right now. But whoever this is, this is someone, like, if they don't take any action, they're going to make the situation worse, okay? So once this person has received all the information they need to move forward, like, they need to do that. 
So this would be two of swords. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra here. This could be someone who's possibly dealing with some legal situations. You know what I'm saying? But it's like they have to do something. Maybe you guys need to make a decision about this person because they might be going to jail for a long time. Okay, so we're talking about this player now. We got this Knight of Cups. So this is a ever so charming Knight of Cups. This is a man of touch, in touch with his intuition, but uses his heart rather than his head here, okay? Now it's time for someone to start exploring. So this, this player is ready to explore some things, ready to go on some type of adventure, maybe have romance, not be a player no more, okay? So for some of y'all, this player may be ready to uh get rid of their player card. You know what I'm saying? They're ready to revoke their player card. And just be with one person. Okay. This could be a Scorpio or Libra. We got heavy Libra energy. But I was talking about the game. Remember, tell us one how to see about this person who can be in a game. It's landed on friends. Okay, for some of y'all, this person, okay. This could be someone that's not, like, they can be older than you, but they're very immature. You know what I'm saying? They haven't grown. A lot, and it could be because of this mentality that they have. You know, they're very careless. So it's like when they do things, they don't think about the consequences and who it will affect. Because I feel like for some of y'all, you can be like in a relationship or on and off with this person, but it's like every time they do something, they go to jail or have to do this, and they like you always love to pick up the pieces. You know what I'm saying? You have to spend money on this person. Some of y'all, y'all be putting money on this person's books. You know, when you're tired of kind of living that lifestyle, you know, like you want to support this person, you want to help them all that you can, but at the same time, like, shit, it's hurting your pocketbook, though. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with the gang member here, okay? Not everybody, this is only for somebody. All right, we got Earth Sign, Virgo, so it, well, Earth Sign, Capricorn, and we got Libra. So let's go back to this player. So we got this Knight of Cups. So this could be someone who is wanting to find true love. Like, they don't want to be a player. No more. You know what I'm saying? This person wants to find true love here. Tell us about this player. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles here. They still a knight, though. You know what I'm saying? But they're wanting to be patient. They promise to put in this hard work to be like, you know, to step into this energy to be a, you know, a, this is what I'm trying to think of. To be a committed man. Thank you, Spirit. To be trustworthy. For you to be able to rely on them. Okay? So I feel like for some of you, it may take this person a while because y'all know the night is the slowest moving night in the whole day. You know, I repeat that. They be on replay every time we see this card, okay? This is someone who's going to take a while to change their play ways, okay? But when they do change their play ways, Scorpio, this is someone who will be searching for true love or not searching. Like, this is someone who's going to want true love. They're not going to keep wanting to live this player lifestyle here, okay? So this could be someone who's very charming. They could be younger than you guys. Don't have to be. But it's like this person, they don't want to continuously live this player lifestyle. You know, they, they want true love. So they seeing all their little homeboys and homegirls and shit settle down and find love. They're like, shit, I'm trying to get a piece of that too. So let's look at this friend right quick. If anything is resonating, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And remember, my love readings are on sale for 35, okay? All right. So let's look at friend. Ooh, okay. For some of y'all, y'all may need to free y'all self from a friendship here, okay? This can be someone who I feel like maybe you've been friends with for a long time. You know, you got an attachment to this person, but they can have some toxic ways about them. You know, maybe they talk about people, they like to gossip, they suffer from addictions, there's some things that they need to work on, but for some of y'all, this person that you feel like is your loyal friend may not be so loyal, okay? And with this devil card being in reverse, y'all may need to release this person, okay? You know, sometimes, Scorpio, as you grow and expand and you learn and you become a better version of yourself, you know, everybody can't come with you. You know, you may have people that's been around for eons, you know, in a long time, and you just want them to come up with you, but Everybody may not always want the best for you. You know, as you grow and evolve, you need to be around more like-minded people, people who think like you. You know, you and this person, y'all may be that, but at the same time, with this devil being in reverse, I don't think it's the way you think it is, okay? 
We got Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer. I mean, Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn, and Libra. So heavy Libra, heavy Capricorn. So let's see what it's about. We got heavy Taurus, Virgo, Aries. Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus, Sag. Heavy Leo, Libra, and Taurus. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.